Welcome! In this video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB drive. This is going to be your main master video because I will show you how to create a bootable drive with any version of the Mac OS X. I will leave the codes in the description below so you can easily copy and paste depending on the OS X version that you need. Like I mentioned before, this is going to work with any OS X version. Either if you're looking to create a bootable USB drive for Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra, Sierra El Capitan, Yosemite, Mavericks, Mountain Lion. I will also be updating the codes for new OS X versions that are going to be released in the future. So if you're watching this video 5, 10, 20 years from now, I got you covered. The codes will be in the description below. Okay, let's get started. You will need a USB drive 8GB or more. In this case, I am going to use a 32GB, but you can use any other size, as long as it is 8GB or more. These are the codes that you're going to find in the description below. Now pay close attention to this because this is the most important part. See that my volume it is in red? You will need to replace my volume with the name of your USB drive. Let me give you an example. Here is my USB drive. The name of my USB is Untitled. If I want to create a bootable drive for Carolina, I am going to replace my volume with the name of my USB, which is Untitled. This is case sensitive, so type it the same way that it is on your USB. If your USB is named Installer, replace my volume with Installer. If your USB is named USB, replace my volume with USB. You get it, right? Do exactly the same with the other OS X codes, depending on what version you need. Just replace my volume with the name of your USB drive. Now, this is a very important note. If your USB has space in between words, you need to add a backsplash before a space. Example, if your USB is named Mac OS Carolina, type Mac OS backslash space Carolina. Another example, let's say that your USB is named Very Important Documents. Type Very backslash space important backslash space documents. Again, remember that this is case sensitive, very important. Okay, let's move on to the second step. Once your USB is inserted, we're going to click on the spotlight search and look for disk utility. We need to format the USB. Make sure to click on the USB. Don't click on the volume of your USB. Now click on erase. Here we need to put the name of your USB. In this case, I am going to create a bootable USB for El Capitan. So I am going to type OSX El Capitan. This is case sensitive as well. Format, make sure it is on Mac OS Extended Journal and this needs to be GUID partition map. Click on erase and wait a few seconds to finish. Okay, click done and close disk utility. Click on spotlight search again and look for terminal. Here is where we're going to paste the code. I am going to create a bootable USB for El Capitan. Let's go back to the codes and replace my volume with the name of my USB, which is OSX El Capitan. I am going to type OS backslash space x backslash space el backslash space capitan select all copy and paste in terminal type in your user password and hit enter on your keyboard here is where you need to be patient because this process will take a long time it will depend on how fast your computer is but this usually takes about 30 to 50 minutes with the magic of video editing we are now done it took 42 minutes to complete the process once you see this message you can remove your usb and it is ready to go now you can use your usb to restore any mac and with the codes in the description below you can create as many usb bootable drives as you like that's it for today if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button and subscribe i'll see you on the next video